vintage gray ABS Sinwell pressure fittings. Let's start with this Carlin coupling. This coupling is made to connect two or three quarter inch ABS pipes. So if you had an existing ABS pipe, you could glue this on and then you could continue on with more ABS. Now when I try a vintage three quarter inch ABS bushing, it fits really well. But when I try three quarter inch copper tubing size CPVC, it doesn't fit at all. So that tells you that this thin wall ABS was thinner than copper tubing size. They don't make the pipe for these fittings anymore. So basically these fittings are useless. I only collect them. You can see right here, it says CP and that was the Carlin logo. Here's a Carlin fitting that actually has Carlin right above it. And I'm pretty sure I had somebody asking me about that logo in the comments. You can see the other side. This is SWP and that's the part number. And I'm not sure why they stamped this on if you didn't just mold it into the fitting. This fitting is very well made and Carlin was one of the biggest, if not the biggest plastic pipe manufacturer in the 50s. Nowadays, Carlin only makes PVC conduit. I find it very unfortunate that they make a lot less now. The next fitting is a mystery brand fitting. It's this one inch ABS T. It says Milex Crelastic. Crelastic is just ABS, but Milex, I'm not really sure. Is it a chemical? Is it a company? I don't really know. I'm guessing that this is just another Carlin fitting because it looks almost exactly like this one inch Carlin T. You can see the way they reinforced it. Almost looks exactly the same. And Carlin did make unmarked Carlin fittings. Here's a Carlin ABS elbow. There's no logo on it, but it's made by Carlin. So this could just be a Carlin fitting without the logo. How this would work is you cut this into a one inch ABS line and you could continue with more ABS. This thin wall ABS is used a lot on well pumps and irrigation systems. I have another T that has Republic brand ABS pipe glued into it. You can see this is Republic right there, and they glued this into the T. It could have been glued in there 50 years ago. It won't come out. It was a very good joint. And I just find that very interesting that, you know, they made these different colors, yet you could still connect them. The next fitting is this one inch by half inch saddle. So you would glue this on to a one inch thin wall ABS pipe, drill a hole in it, and then you could screw in half inch iron pipe size meal threads like that. I'm not sure who this is made by. It has no markings on it. The next fitting is another Milex fitting. You see it says Milex three quarter elastic, And this also doesn't fit that CPVC. It's just a three quarter inch elbow. You glue this onto an ABS pipe and now you can go 90 degrees. The last fitting, which is kind of beaten up, is this coupling here. It's one inch. So if you had a one inch pipe, you could glue this on and then you could continue with more one inch pipe. You can see where it looks like somebody spilled glue on it. And maybe it was even resting in something covered in glue. And there's a scratch right here. Still pretty interesting. It's still a cool fitting to have.